Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I'm going to finish my open book challenge um, questions that I had. I think it's going to be the last um, video of it. There might be one more because I've got one that's got 10 questions and that one might take me a bit. I'm not sure. We'll see how I do. Well, anyways, the first question is from The Drifter. And it's, how long have you played guitar? Well, I really haven't played guitar for very long. If you were to count how long I actually play, I play now and then, like I tinker a little bit today and I wait about five months and then I might tinker again for a little while. But I've had a guitar in the house. When I grew up, my father had a guitar. He had a Spanish guitar and he could play pretty darn good. And my brother Anthony had a guitar but I, I um, played on those, but they used to tune the last two notes differently than what they do now. And you used to just do the um, scale kind of playing. You didn't do any, any um, chords. So if you were to add up all the time that I've had a guitar, I've probably pay, played maybe, I was gonna say two years, but I don't even think it's two years worth of playing. If you could put it all together as one, it might be a year. Maybe. Actual playtime. Actual playtime, but I don't play. I have not yeah. played anything consistent. It's been real sporadic. Okay, and the next question was from Balsam Acres Homestead. What was the name of my favorite teacher and why? All right, I didn't have one favorite teacher. I actually had three that I liked a lot. I had Miss Hills. She was my sixth grade teacher. And the reason I liked her is she believed that I could, could achieve. And I did. And Mrs. Edgerton, because she tutored me and helped me to catch up when I, was, when I had had my ruptured appendix and came back and I was so far behind, she tutored me. And Mr. Vanderwill, I had him. He was the first male teacher in the elementary part of the school. There had never been a male teacher before. And it was his first year teaching and that was when my name became to be Gracie because he wanted to call me just Mary and I wasn't gonna have it. So he said, from now on, you're Gracie. And so I was Gracie for a long time. Um, let's see. The next question is from Triv Trevion Peterson. He wanted to know if I liked Valentine's Day. Actually, Valentine's Day to me is just like another day Nothing exciting happens. I don't eat candy. I don't get candy. I don't get flowers. I don't get nothing. <laughs> hint, hint. I get nothing. <laughs> and I give nothing. You give nothing No, I, I don't give you anything. Nope. In fact, I give it to my chickens. Okay. Um, Goat Shed Life wants to know my favorite color. She's not sure if I ever said it. Well, you know, my really favorite color was blue forever and a day. But I wear a lot of red, so I guess my new favorite color is red. And, um... But if you had a choice of a car color, what would it be? Oh, uh, when I was choosing my cars, I always wanted this powder blue. I wanted a real pretty blue, but I got an orange car, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess blue is my favorite color. Um, Ann Walsworth wants to know, what does she want to know? Let me see. <laughs> if I had to give, if I could give up, let's see, if there was one thing that you could give up, what would it be? I'd give up my track phone because I never use it. I just put time on it, and I, but I never really use it. These, uh, I don't need those papers. I, those are the ones I need. Oh, no, I do need that. Nope, the one on the, the bottom. one on the bottom, yeah. This one I don't need. This one's done. No, need that. Need okay. That. And yeah. Take Control Beauty. She, she thought she had missed the questions, but she really didn't because I had to do this another day. Um, and she wants to know, do your kids live near you? Yes, my kids live all within 10 miles or less. Well, other than one. Other than one, that's right. Oh, yeah, he used to live real close. He moved to Indiana, so I have one that's not here. And do you see your foster kids? No, but they do call once in a while, and I get a letter. Every time they land up in jail, somebody ends up in jail, they'll send me a letter looking for me to write back, or they'll call me from the jail collect. <laughs> so, 
they still get into trouble, these kids do. Okay, that one's well, done. Well, you had but. the one that wanted your approval of her future yeah, husband. Yeah, she came by to, to give me that, to let me do that. And another one called me because she had robbed from us and she wanted to make sure <laughs> that I, what I, you know, she wanted to know if I remembered her. And I says, yeah, I remember you. But, uh, you know, and I, I told her all the good stuff and I didn't say anything about her stealing terribly from us. I think she was just looking for forgiveness, which she got. Okay, Out West Homestead wants to know, how long have we been riding the motorcycles? Well, Jim has been riding since he was about age 10. He had dirt bikes and things like that. I've only been driving a motorcycle and ride. I started riding probably the year before I got my license, I think. Mm -hmm. Probably. About a year. So I've been driving for eight years, but maybe riding for nine because I was afraid of the bike. And when he got the trike, it was actually a blessing in disguise. But I was going to go on a trip when he had, it was the two wheel that he was going to take with the trailer behind that. And I was actually going to go, but he got vertigo. Thank goodness he got it before we left. <laughs> that would have been a, awful. Yeah. Um, and Danny... From Happy Farms, Louisiana wants to know um, what has happened in your life since you began making videos every day. And the thing that I found that has been making videos every day, I feel like I am, I've got a job again. I feel like um, I have a purpose in life. And the purpose is make videos and answer comments and interact with people, which Makes me very happy, and I hope it makes you happy, too. Um, now, You're very much a people person. I'm a people person, I know. And it's hard for me not to be around people. When I used to get telemarketers, <laughs> this is so sad. When I had nobody to talk to, really nobody to talk to, I just little kids, and I was talking to them all the time, and a telemarketer would call. They would actually hang up on me because I was so chatty. But, oh dear, okay, and now um, Florentin Tisha is how you say his name. <laughs> and it's, his last name is spelled T-I-S-E, but he says it Tisha, Tisha, Tisha. Yeah, I got it right, I think. <laughs> if you could change one and only one thing in the world today, what would it be, is his question. And I would like it to have to not be so politically correct all the time. That's the one thing I'd like to change. Here you go. I have that page too. Okay, on this page I have, let's see if there's any short ones before I go on to the long one. Okay, this one is from Mary Cleveland. She wants to know, do you have a vegetable garden? Yes, I do. We used to have a huge vegetable garden, but we've downsized now to um, raised beds. And what was your favorite meal to cook? Anything with pasta. I could cook pasta any way you wanted it, and oh, it was always so good. And how did you, Jim and you meet? How did you meet Jim? <laughs> I was roller skating, and he was, came to the skating rink that I was at, and he looked like nobody that was going to bother anybody. So I asked him to do a lady's choice, and then he asked me for a couple skate, and then it just seemed to bloom from there. Um, if you were to learn one new skill, what would it be? I'd like to learn how to tattoo, do tattoo art or henna art. I would like to learn that. I think that, I think that's really, you got to be an artist. And I don't think I, I don't know. The henna especially, I would like to learn. Um, what are your favorite hobbies? Well, my hobby today is, I guess, making videos. I don't really have any hobby hobbies. I like to craft a lot, Yeah. but as You're far as crafting. hobbies go, mm -hmm. I don't know. What skill would you like to teach the younger person? Any, well, I'd like to teach them how to darn socks. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> darn, darn, darn. Darn, 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 yep. Um, or work with any kind of um, fiber, like knitting, crocheting, needle tatting, um, sewing on a needle. Needlepoint? Oh yeah, yeah, I don't like. Well, I don't like cruel work. No, <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> cruel work is really cruel work. Cruel. I have a cru I have a picture that I've been working on since I don't know when, and it's really cruel. It's cruel 
is the type of stitching and it's it's it is it's cruel and it's named well <laughs> I know okay now we'll go on to Ann Minimal, minimalism minimalism by Ann okay she's the one that's got she's got a lot of questions did I do yeah I did that too the vegetable garden I did that okay what is my favorite color well my favorite color is blue but I wear a lot of red what is the first names of your children there's Michael Jessica Laura and Emily oh you know who I forgot I forgot um I forgot the goat shed life's where's hers find it please I know I forgot it um if you had to be on a desert island for six months and could only have six foods while you were there which six would I choose oh gosh I'm going off keto <laughs> did you find it okay I'll do hers after um, I would go off keto I would take pasta I would take lentil soup I would take spinach I would take um, onions it's how many is that it's pasta lentil soup onions and spinach that's four I got two more I can take mm -hmm. two more two more I would take some kind of vegetable um or maybe I should have a meat I don't want meat no. I'll take cheese <laughs> <laughs> I'll take cheese and I'll take um I like I like sliced turkey but then I have to have mayonnaise. Oh, geez. <laughs> now it's seven. Well, the, I would take pasta, definitely, and those things to cook with pasta. Definitely. All right. Um, if you want a trip for three weeks and stayed in the state of your choice, luxury touring, sightseeing, eating out, history lessons included, which state would you choose? I'd go someplace warm. I don't know what state I would choose. Because um, I just want to be where it's warm, real warm, all the time, no snow. And by the <laughs> looks of it, a lot of you that are supposed to be warm are having snow. Oh, gosh. Probably Louisiana, Georgia. Now, Georgia's got snow in parts um, of it. I don't want to be where there's snow. I don't want, I don't want to Florida, see any snow. I'd have to Texas. be way down into Florida, way down, 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 down. And I'd have to, but then I got hurricanes to deal with. <laughs> Mm. Oh dear, I don't know. Maybe I'll go to Hawaii. <laughs> Maybe yeah. they, they have um, stuff too. Yeah. But that's okay. I'll just go there. Um, are you a good cook from cooking from scratch? If it's pasta stuff or Italian foods, I'm great with scratch. If it's just meats... Actually, uh, more Sicilian than Italian. Uh, yeah, Sicilian foods. I'm not. I'm not good with the, this American stuff. <laughs> That's no way. Uh uh. And do I make pasta? I used to make pasta. When pasta went up in price, pasta used to be really cheap to buy. When it went up in price, I thought, the heck with this. I'm not paying that. I would buy the flour and the eggs, and I would make my own pasta. And I have a pasta machine. Um. Are you a big fan of Mexican food, Japanese food, Vietnamese food, or Chinese food? Well, I've only had Mexican food once, and I was actually in Brownsville, Texas when I had Mexican food. Mm -hmm. um, the other foods I haven't really had, so I don't know. They've been more of Americanized. Yeah, everything is, if you go to a Chinese restaurant, it's, it's I don't think it's real Chinese <coughs> food. Um, have you ever heard of okra? The few Northerners who know it know it as okra. Yes, I've I've heard of okra. I've eaten okra, but only in a restaurant. I don't know how to cook it. Never have cooked it. And do I eat pierogies? Yes, I like pierogies. I've actually made pierogies. I had, I bought ravioli um, trays, trays to put, make ravioli in, and I had made pierogies out of it. And when my daughter was baptized i had a huge we have great big huge dinners and big big buffets when when our kids get baptized or first communion or things like that we we have big parties and it's a food party and i had made pierogies i had made the potato and the onion pierogi i liked that is the one i had made 
And do I grow flowers? Well, as a matter of fact, I have flowers. I have had wild flowers. I do have my plants in the other room. But these are flowers that every time my birthday comes along, Jim buys me some bulbs to plant. And so I've got some really pretty flowers. They're beautiful. Whoops, lost one. Dahlias. Yeah. And they they are really pretty. The only one that didn't come up was it's coming. Is this one? I don't know what happened to this. What is? I don't even know what that is. It's uh, a red sentinel. Uh, I don't know. It didn't come up, <clears throat> so I don't know what happened to that. It didn't come up. Okay, now I'll do. Um, that was the ten questions. I went through them pretty fast. That was pretty mm -hmm. good, actually. Now I didn't do my goat shed lives. How did I miss her? I don't know. I've switched. To, I went down to the track phone answer. Okay, what is your? Um, oh, she, I did part of it. The color. I didn't do the second half of it. This is well, from the my. Color was somebody else. Yeah, too. but she had color, and yeah. that was the first color. But she wanted to know my birthday. <laughs> she said I didn't have to tell the year, but you know what? I like the year that I was born because the kids go, ah, oh, that is such a long time ago. <laughs> they think 1980 is a long time ago. Okay, my birthday is... They think 1990 is a long I time know. ago. I know. My birthday is March 31st, and I was born in 1952. I'm going to be 68. I know, I wanted to say 57. <laughs> Well, that's what you feel like. But. Or less. I usually say 39, but 57 sounds more than, more like I could be. <laughs> no, I'm going to be 68. I can't believe that. Wow. Well, that's it for today. I made it through all of the questions. I did take a bunch of pictures of, um, of a long time ago of my life. And I want to put pictures of pictures. Pictures of pictures. Yeah, I want to put them together, and hopefully I can do a video of that because that would give you a little chance to see what it was like for me to grow up and what kind of house I lived in, and um, a few other things. They're black and white. The pictures are not in color. There are a few in color, and I did find the one where my brother was making the stilts. And I found the one picture where um, my brother Anthony is on the stilts and my brother Laurel is on stilts. But I don't have the picture with the three in a row. I don't know what happened to that picture. I think I mailed it to my brother when he was in the Navy and I never got it back. So that's it for today. I thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. And I will see you all again tomorrow in your videos. I will watch you. And I'll talk to you tomorrow on my comments. So I'll see you then. Bye.